Good afternoon. This is Coach Big Pete of DeepDutchFootball.com. And the Wimmy Re- Report, it is time now for week three top games. And I should say um, week three is usually the third week of basically every, where everything just settles down after the first two weeks. The madness and everything will settles down and we enter into conference play. Uh, conference play already started in the first week sometimes, in the second week. But third week, it's generally conference play. We have a couple few interleague play games. Um but mostly, it's just, it's the third week. It's where the coaches have a good idea where their team is going to be and where their team is going to head during the season. So it's going to be an interesting uh, week this week three. I, me personally, I think we can start nailing on some teams on who's going to be the top teams. And the, just, it'll be a quick uh, up. Um, be a quick diagnosis of each conference and the teams that are in the conference that you can see after week three. So it's going to be an interesting time. So let's get started. All right. Um, <clears throat> Effingham versus at Mount Zion. That's a good game to look out for, uh, especially with the, uh, the Effingham Power 3 that I really do like out of. Uh, Stillman Valley of Brian. Uh, Brian had a huge one last week. Uh, it's going to be another key game for Brian. Um, just keep, I'm going down on IHSA.org, by the way, that's for all your information for IHSA football is IHSA.org. And also for your top, for all your football scores, please go to IHSA score zone, check it out on Twitter, follow them for all IHSA football score zone, your number one source for everything IHSA football. All right. Um, Peoria, uh, Peoria at Urbana is going to be a good game to look at out for. Not, but you guys are like, oh, it's the Urbana is not that good. Peoria is zero two. This is a must win game, especially for the high, especially for Peoria High School. So Peoria at Urbana is going to be a good game to look at. Uh, Normal versus Champaign uh, Centennial is another good game to look at, too. That's a really good game. Uh, I want to see more out of Champaign Centennial, this, uh, this especially for this game. That's going to be an interesting game. Um, <clears throat> El Dorado at Susser Valier, that's a good game. That is a really good uh, good game in that 2A bracket. Uh, uh, I really do think, again, like I said this before, I do think a team is going to come roaring out of Black Diamond this year, and we're going to see them in DeKalb. <clears throat> El Dorado, great team. Cesar Valley are sort of a surprise this season. See how they rise, but it, that's going to be an interesting game. Very interesting game. Uh, Salem at Columbia, first big test for Salem since moving to uh, moving to the conference. So Salem at Columbia from the Cahokia Conference. That's a good conference to look at. Uh Going down. Warrensburg versus St. Teresa. Another good game out of Central Illinois. Uh, Sacred Heart Griffin. Normal University at Sacred Heart Griffin. Sacred Heart Griffin wants to win again. They got upset by MacArthur. I, and uh, that's another good game. Decatur MacArthur at Springfield High School. Two teams. Two, two well, Decatur MacArthur people sort of thought they were going to be good. Springfield, uh, people didn't have full faith in them. They're two and zero. That's going to be a good game. Decatur McCarthy at Springfield High School, hell of a game. Coach Goley and Coach Spates, great game. Um, let's see. Mount Carmel Loyola Academy, yeah, that's a good game. Saint Rita versus Providence Catholic, another good game. Saint Rita and Providence Catholic are the the two dark horses in that conference especially in the upper upper uh, class play, they could make a, tr- a quite possibly good run into the state playoffs, inside the state playoffs. Fenwick-Montini, good game. Montini and Fenwick, uh, two teams that are, are just going to be a little bit late risers this season. Uh, Bishop Mack versus St. Lawrence, that's a good game to look out for. Uh, 
Meta Valley versus Naperville Central, the revenge game. Two players transfer from Meta Valley to Naperville Central. That's going to be a great game to watch. Uh, Forn and Jaden Reed transfer to, from Meta Valley to Naperville Central. That's going to be a good game to watch. Uh, Wabansi Valley versus uh, Nequa Valley, another good game. Uh, Wabansi Valley got their win. We'll see what happens. Weedon North at Naperville North. Uh, that's actually a really good game. Really good game. Battle of both 2-0 and teams. Huge, huge dividends after that game in the race for the DuPage Valley Conference. Lake Park versus DeKalb. That's another great game. Lake Park, a surprise team. DeKalb, not much of a surprise team. They're, they've always been good. So Lake Park versus DeKalb, that's a good game to look out for. Uh... Carmel at Maris is a little bit of a game to look at out for. Uh, Crystal Lake Central is a versus Prairie Ridge. That's a that's a good good eye to keep an eye out for. A good game to keep an eye out for. Um, especially Crystal Lake Central, they want to prove something against Prairie Ridge. <clears throat> um, St. Thomas More versus Monticello. That's a very good game, especially in that conference. Being inside the conference, um, Unity versus Prairie Central. I want to see what Unity can do. Uh, Saint Joseph Ogden. I'm sorry, Saint Joseph versus Bloomington uh, Central Catholic is that's a great game. Actually, that is a very good game, especially a battle in the, in the Illini Prairie. Uh, Hersher, no. Uh, I, I, I'll, I'll say the game, but I don't think it's going to be a game. Westmont uh, at Wilmington. Westmont's 2-0. and I coached at Westmont. I don't think Westmont has a chance. I have to say it just to be fair, but Westmont doesn't have a chance against Wilmington. Wilmington's going to win by 50, 56 points. That, 56 or 63 points. That That's my that's my personal guess right now. Um Marengo at Woodstock, that's a sort of a good game. Marengo lost to Elmwood Park. That was a really big shocker. Uh, Richmond Burden lost. Johnsburg, Johnsburg. it's going to be between, between Johnsburg and Woodstock North uh, for the, the Koshaki River Conference. That's my personal belief. Uh, Casey Westfield at Florida, that's a good game. Uh, I really do like Casey Westfield this season. Um, Peeking at Dunlap, that's another good game. I really do like Dunlap. Uh, it is, this is a really slow week. I'm not going to lie. This is a slow, slow week. Uh, Stevenson at Lake Forest, that's a good game. Uh, wouldn't be remiss to not forget to mention... Uh, Forston versus Dakota, 1A, uh, 1A action. That's a great game, great game. Uh, Dakota's on the rise. I had them on the rise, and they're looking great. Grant versus, uh, no, uh, Grays Lake North versus Lakes. That's actually a good game. Freeport versus Harlem. That's actually, that's actually a very good game. Uh, oh, that's a... Mara Forsyth versus Williamsville is a huge game in the 3A division. Williamsville is killing teams with their offense. Mara Forsyth is that potential. They moved into the Sagma last year. They look great. So that's going to be a huge game. Mara Forsyth versus Williamsville, great game. Um... Clifton Central versus Paxson Lodi. That's a good, that's another good game to look out for. Uh, Carlinville at Litchfield. That's actually good. Carlinville now has gotten my full attention now. Uh, I didn't think they were going to do that much because uh, Jacob Dixon graduated from them, but Carlinville has my full attention, um, which is very is a very interesting team. Um, let's see what else we got. Hillcrest at uh, Lamont's a great game. That's a great game to look out for. Richards, Richards, Shepard. I saw Richards last week. They're gonna that that's gonna be a hell of a game. Richards and uh, Shepard. That sets the pace for the South Suburban Red. Um, 
yeah, a lot of uh, Juliet West did Oswego. That's a very good game out of Southwest Prairie. My game, Stag versus the deepest football game of the week, Stag versus Homer Flossmore. Homer Flossmore is going to come in their favor. No, no doubts about it. And the rest of the games, yeah, they're not that good. Lincoln Way West versus Bradley Bourbon A. That's a, that's a game to look out for. Um, Edwardsville at East St. Louis is a hell of a game. That's a one hell of a game to look out for. Uh, Edwardsville, a great group of juniors. East St. Louis, great group of seniors. They lost last week, East St. Louis. But those are, Edwardsville's a team to look out for next year, but they're still a team to look out for this year, too. It's gonna, That's going to be a good game. Halvert at Princeton, that's a great game. And the Free Rivers, Mississippi Conference, that's a great game. Um, Sterling, uh, Newman Central Catholic at Orion is a great game. That's a huge game for uh, Newman Central Catholic. Two teams with great groups of athletes. Newman Central Catholic at Orion, that's a hell of a game. Um, they, that's a great game. I'm, I'm just, I'm not, that is a hell of a game. Um, St. Charles East versus Geneva is a great game. Uh, St. Charles East uh, looking very, very good. Geneva needs to win this game. This is a huge, this is a must win for Geneva. Um, a lot of weird games this year. Uh, Westville at Salt Fork. Good game to look out for. <clears throat> Especially with uh, Salt Fork's athletes with the, with the ability that they have. Um, Hinsdale Central versus OPRF is a great game. That's a game to look out for. Uh, especially in the West Suburban Silver. Just scrolling down, looking at all this stuff. Aurora Christian at Brother Rice. That's actually a good game. Wow. I can't believe that uh, Brother Rice agreed. Well, it, they are in, it's in the conference, uh, but that's a... That's a hell of a game. That's a hell of a test for Drew Clipper, uh, quarterback out of Aurora Christian. Uh, Brother Rice um, reeling from being 0-2. That, um, <clears throat> that's a definite game to keep an eye out for. Bearing at Bearing Tate, New Trier, that's a huge game. New Trier got upset last week. Uh, New Trier wants, wants payback. Barrington is Barrington. They've always looked good. Uh, I, forget, I forgot the coach's name. He does a great job with that team. Um... <clears throat> Glenbard Self versus Aurora Central Catholic. That's a good, that's another good game to look out for. Hersey versus at uh, Highland Park. Uh, Coach Harani for Highland Park is doing a great job with that team. It's going to be interesting to see what uh, Coach Pardon does with Hersey against Highland Park. Uh, you got a great group of athletes on both sides of the ball too. Uh, Highland Park, uh, the linebacker Matsko, Val Placenta. Uh, Hersey, you got uh, Golds Goldsberry, and they got a nice little de defensive back that looks great. <clears throat> Breeze Mather Day at Altoff Catholic, weird game, but that's a great game. Great game. Um, Carterville at Murfreesboro uh, Borough is another great game. The Red Devils, uh, they looked really good. Uh, who did I forgot who they played? But they looked really good, and I, I really do believe, I'm a strong believer now in Murfreesboro now. Um, I know they weren't supposed to do that much this season, but I really did like what they, uh, the game that they played. Of, it was like the first their first week. It was a loss, but I was completely impressed with Murfreesboro. Um, it's going down. Oh, that's actually a good game. Elmwood Park. Elmwood Park versus IC. Two... Uh, a one in one, a one on one team in IC, and a surprising Elmwood Park team that is two and oh, I will repeat that again. Elmwood Park is two and oh, just repeating that for you. Elmwood Park is two and oh, they have an impressive line. They played two quality points, they beat Marengo and they beat St. Joseph. That is a team to look out for. Elmwood Park, I'm just saying it, I'm saying that out loud. Elmwood Park is a team to watch out for. Um, <clears throat> let's see what else. A lot of teams playing Missouri teams. Uh, 
Morris at Quincy Notre Dame. Morris is looking great. Quincy Notre Dame's a perfect challenge for Morris. Uh, look out for, that's a game to definitely look out for. Um, the Jersey, oh, that's a good game. Jerseyville at Centralia. Jerseyville did the upset last last week. Centralia, again, uh, Coach Brennison, like I said, is a that's a great team. That's a great game to watch. Jerseyville at Centralia. Uh, Ridgewood at uh, Riverside Brookfield is a hell of a game. That's a really good game to look out for. Um, let's see what else. I already said Lake Park at the Cal. That's going to be a great game. Um, Yorkville at Rochelle. That's a game. That's a nice little game to look out for. Keep a keep an eye out for Rolling Meadows at Vernon Hills. That's a good game. Good solid game. Um, Palatine at Evanston. Another good game to look out for. Uh, Palatine just got their first win, uh, and it's a huge proving ground, especially for a young team in uh, Evanston. Oakland versus Brum, that's a good game too. They're turning around things in Oakland. That's good to see. Um let's see. I'm missing one more game. Oh, Tremont at uh Tremont at Tremont at Eureka. That's another uh, quality game to keep a close eye on, but it's it's a good. But the, the week three, and I'm going to say this, week three is a slow week, <laughs> especially with some of those games. Um, Triad Troy versus Mount Vernon. That's another good game to keep a close eye out for. Yeah, that's that's about it uh, for week three. I just say 2017 season. Um, <clears throat> it's a game where coaches are finding. Uh, themselves and basically after week three they were pretty after week two they had a pretty good idea of what, where the team's going to be but week three is the definite uh explanation point on for what their team is going to do um it's going to be interesting to see uh some of the uh the how do we say this the lower levels uh the one two a's and the three four three four five a's we have a good idea what's going to happen the seven, six, the seven, the six, seven, eight A's are just—it's a complete mismatch of what we don't know what's going on. Three A is a complete uh, cluster. Mm -mm. Uh, uh, I C did lose, but again, don't count out I C. And it's going to be interesting to see, especially week four, week five, on who's going to be those uh, teams in week four and week five <clears throat> that have a losing record. But we'll win that game in that week four, week five, and are going to go and get that five wins and those playoff points to go into the IHSA, uh, IHSA state playoffs and start shocking some teams. That's going that's, that's got my eye. That it really has my eye for those teams. Also, who are the teams in the bigger state? And when we talk six, seven, eight, eight, who are the teams from central Illinois that are going to be looking to challenge the, the big boys up north? Now, Sacred Heart Griffin, even though they lost to the Car the Caden Mark Harford, I still have him favored. I think it's six A. I still have him favored for the six A thing, and four A Rochester is going to run f run wild through four. That's that's my personal belief, and five A it's going to be Phillips. That that's my that's that's just me. But it'll be interesting to see. But again, this is Coach Big Pete of Deep Dutch Football discussing. The week three schedule for the LIHSA football season 2017. Again, if you like what I had to say, please follow Coach McPete and Deep Dish Football on Twitter and Facebook. Please visit deepdishfootball.com. If you like what I had to say, go to deepdishfootball.com. On the right-hand section, please feel free to leave a tip or a donation towards my work. Um, also looking for advertisers and sponsors. If any of you guys have a local business or local product, let me know. And have your things featured on the videos, uh, graphics, and everything else. Uh, please shoot me an email at coachbigpetefp at gmail.com. Thank you so much. I wish all the teams and players good luck this see uh, good luck this week. Uh, hoping for no injuries and just a good safe play. And see you guys next week for deep this uh, deep this football coach big pete games of the week.
This is week three.